Hello fellow survivors, builders, and explorers. This is Saifa, and welcome to Feed the Beast Unhinged. This is a new mod pack that is in the beta stages right now. And this is, this is pretty interesting. What's going to happen is that, from what I gather, there's going to be two main Feed the Beast uh, packs. One is uh, this one, Unhinged, and the other is Unchained. And the reason for this split is because there's been a lot of back and forth and argument within the Feed the Beast community about whether or not to include Greg Tech in the, uh, the main Feed the Beast pack. So apparently what they've done is just have one pack without Greg Tech and one pack with Greg Tech. And this is the pack with Greg Tech. Now, what Greg Tech does, it adds a lot to the game. Lots of, uh, I believe it adds ores, but it also adds a lot of machines, but it changes the recipes for a lot of the other mods. It makes a lot of things more difficult, you can say, in a sense, in that it requires you to gather more things or rarer things. It doesn't really make the game any more difficult. It just requires you to gather more resources than you would normally. It takes you longer to do most things. The goal of this is essentially to uh, increase the replayability, I guess. It, it extend the length um, until you get to a lot of the end game things. I've always been a fan of Greg Tech from the Feed the Beast Ultimate Pack, but, you know, it looks like he, uh... Hmm, what is that? That's a new stone. It looks like he may have gone a little crazy. I mean, there <laughs> there's a lot of things that have changed, and there's been some real heated debates as to whether these are good changes or not. But we are definitely going to try this out. Like I said, I've been a big fan of Greg Tech. And I've, uh, I've got to see what this is. Quartzite Cobblestone. Hmm. Never even heard of this. Oh, okay, so you can... pretty much use it. Oh, what is that? Do you have to have an assembling machine to make a lever? Wow! Yeah, and you can make tools with it and everything. Interesting. Okay, so what I am going to do is gather up some cobble, make my basic tools, and then we're going to find a nice area to settle down, and I will see you back here then. I am not entirely certain what I'm looking at here. Giant flowers, apparently. This is my first real foray into the uh, anything with biomes of plenty in it. And, boy, what is this stuff? I'm starting to think there isn't just any kind of generic cobblestone or stone in the game. I think there's maybe multiple different kinds, and I like that. That's pretty slick. What are you? You're a red chicken. <laughs> you dropped red dye. That's awesome. And what? Giant flower stem. And you have a... Well, yeah, look at that. Forster's backpack. It looks like you just use it like wood. Maybe. Hmm. Eh, not quite like wood, huh? Okay. I killed some pork. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill some more of these chickens, and then we will continue looking for a home. And welcome back. 
Well, I had my first death through the night. Sitting here cooking up my food. A creeper drops in. I don't know how. I don't know where he came from. I thought I had myself sealed up. And he blew me to kingdom come. Great way to start out. Oh. Whoa. Oh boy, how do I get rid of that? Hmm. <laughs> well, I hope that doesn't uh, happen regularly. I gotta see what the name of this biome is. What is this thing? A garden biome. Interesting. I'm not sure if these guys have any use. Sunflower seeds, can you eat those? Hmm, maybe. You can fill a can up with them. Yeah, you can, look at that! Well, that is a nice, easy, easy, easy source of food. I will gather those up. Very nice, I like that. Okay, well, I am going to continue the hunt for a nice base location, and I will see you in a few. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like home to me. Right next to the ocean. Nice, nice plethora of rubber trees everywhere. This looks very, very nice indeed. I like this. What are you? What are you? Are you quicksand? A m mud? What in the world? Mud. I never even heard of mud. <laughs> mud sky? A muddy pit. What? Are they for real? <laughs> you can make mud armor. Mud brick. Now that might be kind of a cool building material. Mud bricks. Look at that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm going to use it. Rats. Well, let's scope out an area. Now, one thing that you got to do in this mod pack as soon as you can is get to caving because man the materials that are needed you know I got a feeling that this biome is not actually supposed to have trees in it but the the mod that has these rubber trees for some reason has added them to this biome anyway that might not be accurate, but it's just a hunch that I have. I'm not sure which mod adds in all the different types of cobble. There are two mods that are disabled by default in this mod pack. One of them is Biomes of Plenty, and the other is Underground Biomes. I got a hunch that these are added by the Underground Biomes. But I like that. It gives you a lot more variety in uh, building materials. Got some oil over there. That's good. Crossed a big uh, oil geyser on my way here as well. More mud right there. All right. Well, I am going to dig in for the night, and see you in the morning. 
Okay. Let's check it out. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, look at that. You can actually make just regular cobblestone out of that. Interesting. I'm not sure if I'm digging the mud or not. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Now, can you turn this, these different colors of cobble, into uh, different colors of stone bricks? That would be pretty slick. I don't think that was the... yeah, that was the same kind I've been, I've been gathering up, isn't it? Oh, nope. It's okay. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. That's pretty nice. I like that. Everything is new again. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm going to start chopping down some of these and replanting because I am going to need a lot of rubber eventually. Now here's something interesting. The uh, the wood logs. Look at that. Only one plank per log. That is going to make things interesting, to say the least. Where did... There we go. And might as well start making more charcoal here. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Now, the question is, where do I build? Oh, used a pickaxe. No biggie. I really like this biome. I might move over there. Well, here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to build with this stuff right here, the quartzite bricks, because there's definitely plenty of it here. So I think I'm going to get a structure built, and I'm not going to make you sit through that. So I will get that started, and I'll see you a little later. Okay, you ready for this? Found a ravine, and just look how cool that looks. They did a good job. Look at that. It looks like you got different kinds of geological layers. And look at this. I'm still at level 40, and... Man, I descended quite a ways. So either this biome that I'm in must just be really high up. I, I don't recall climbing up. Or I don't know if somehow this mod pack has just sort of overall raised how high up the surface is. I don't think so. Maybe I think I just must be in a high... 
a high altitude in this biome. Go away. But anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. And I'm just, uh, it's pretty cool. I, I never really thought I would come across some of this, you know, descending down through different layers of different type of rock. This here is dolomite. And that just looks so cool. Well, this is what I have so far. I think I would like to build with circular buildings in this in this series. It's something I've never really hello. Something I've never really played around with. Now the other thing that I have discovered is man oh man you would not believe how quickly your stone tools wear out. I don't even think you get half of the uses out of them that you would normally get. And the, the other thing about it, about that, is that iron tools are not as easy to make. I don't even, I'm not even sure how to make them. Let me show you what I mean here. Iron pig, for example. Look at that recipe. You gotta have the iron ingots and the sticks, plus a hammer, plus a file, plus an iron plate, which you make with a hammer and two. So I guess it's not too bad. It looks like you gotta have one, technically one more additional iron. Whew. It's a long road ahead, but I am going to be using stone tools. And on top of that, not only does each log give you one plank, but you only get two sticks out of your planks now. <laughs> Which means that you're just uh, going through the wood like crazy. This storm's pretty crazy, too. But yeah, I, uh, I think the Greg has lost his mind. But you know what? It's okay. That is fine. It's supposed to be a challenge. That's why I'm playing it. And I'm going to try to enjoy it. The floor is actually the, uh, the Dolomite. I really like that sort of a... Uh, it's a gray, but has kind of a greenish hue to it. So I think that'll, uh, that'll be pretty nice. Alright, well, I'm going to keep working on this thing. And welcome back. And let me tell you, it has been an adventure so far. I went ahead and finished off this building for the most part. Nothing special. But I went uh, on a little journey trying to find some sheep to, uh, to get some wool so I could make a bed. I got really old, have to hide away the nights and everything. And, boy, it took a while. About two hours. Died a couple times. Just could not find any sheep. Ended up finding some of these willow trees. And I have discovered that it seems to just be the rubber wood that only gives you one plank per log. The rest of the wood seems to give two planks. So while that's still not very spectacular, it is certainly an improvement. Now, what I need to work on now, and oh yeah, I found a few other stuff, found a couple chests, went into one of the little dimensional doors and came up with some stuff that I'm not really sure if it has a use. But we need to get some refined iron, and to get that we just re-smelt iron ingots. Because we need to get some actual tools. I am going through these stone tools so quick. I'm really hoping that the iron tools durability hasn't been nerfed. Now, to make the hammer, we just have to do that. 
Iron hammer. Cool. Now the other thing that we need is... It's not a chisel. What is it? It's a... Yeah, iron file. So refined iron plates. So we put the hammer here. Iron plates, and we need two of those. Iron plates, and then was it just the two plates and a stick? Iron file. Now, let's go ahead and make an iron pickaxe. Okay, so I need an iron plate. Like that. You go there, you go there, I think that's how it went. Do I have these? Oh, that's refined iron, don't need to use refined iron. Iron pickaxe. Now, how do we make an iron sword? Okay, so two more iron plates. Once I get a rolling machine, I think I'll be able to make my iron last a bit better. Okay, that definitely makes me feel a bit better. But the question is, how long does this guy last? But we're definitely going to use this guy right now, because when I was down here poking around the ravine, I found some diamond. And we're definitely going to want diamond. I would like to get a macerator or pulverizer up and running as soon as possible. You get out of here. Didn't even hear him hit the ground. Do I have any? No, I don't have any arrows. Rats. Oh, hi there. Oh! Heard the creeper. Okay, you guys are just over there. You're fine. That's, I think that's, uh, silver. Yes, that's silver. Not too concerned about that just yet. Nope! Now, I know there's diamond down here. Where did I see it? I'm fairly certain there's diamond down here. Yep, there we go, and I think... I think, I think, I think that this is Iridium. But Iridium is so rare that I I want to wait to get that until I have something um, that can silk touch. So we're going to leave that right there. Cool. Yes. Give me a dim diamond. Five diamond is a nice start, is that? Now, wait a minute. Okay, I gotta find out what it is. No, I don't think of that. That's not iridium, is it? Ferris ore. Okay. That's not quite as exciting. If I remember right, though, I think that if we pulverize ferrous ore, we get a chance to get an iridium nugget or something like that. So that's okay. And we'll go ahead and grab that redstone. I need to get a chicken farm going. Start making some arrows. And it is just so nice having iron equipment. I need to make some some armor. But I'd really like to have a rolling machine up and running so I can make a better better use of my resources. Where's my stairs? My stairs got blowed up.
Yeah, we'll grab this silver while we're here. Oh, there's a lot of it here. I think that's silver, isn't it? Yeah, it's all silver. I think that... I think that's lead. Yeah, lead. I can't really tell if the durability on that is going down any quicker than it has in the past. I feel pretty certain the sword's durability is. But that's okay. It's all part of the challenge, right? I made a wrong turn somewhere. This is not the way up. Okay, I can grab these guys. I definitely want to grab this quartz as I'm getting it too. Oh no! Ah. Are those? Yeah, these are... Oh, I got all turned around. Are these actually my... Yeah, these are my stairs back up to uh, the surface. I think. Aha! Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it right here. Next episode, we are going to start working on energy and machines and a way to uh, get more bang for our buck, so to speak, in our wars. So we will see you back here next time.